What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I'm going to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. You know, um, I look at life as in if I can get up out of the bed and I have my incredible wife next to me, that I can handle anything else from that point, anything else. And you guys know at the end of the day, I always am doing my fireside chat because that's me being thankful for the day that I have. You know, I always look back and I say, you know, was I a good person? Was I a good husband and things like that? Did I do things to try and get myself in a better position? Was I, was I a good, you know, citizen to my neighbors and help other people out and stuff like that? And if I did all those things, then... It was a great day. You know, it was Shannon Sharp that said, every day you're writing your eulogy. Because tomorrow's not promised. So that's why I try and make the most of every day. Now, tonight at midnight, six hours and 43 minutes from now, I will turn 59. And I feel so blessed to have had as many years that I've had here on this earth. And I have enjoyed it thoroughly. And I feel like the Eagles are giving me a birthday present. Now, I don't know what's going to happen with the Lions game this week. That Lions, it's a tall task. The Lions want to have payback against us. They are pissed off that they lost, you know, those calls on fourth down and everything else. And they kept going for it and going for it and going for it and getting stopped. Big Sills, I just finished doing the stream and stuff with them and things. And, you know... It's been great. I, I, I took my lumps and stuff with them, and I've enjoyed being able to give them trash. Although Philly 500 didn't come in and do the walk of shame this week. Magically, he had something he had to do. Had to do. But I'm going to say karma is a biatch. Because when Philly 500 did a video about the Eagles getting Devin White... He also talked about Mark Holmes is hiding out at a safe house. This is in the off season. There's nothing to hide out about. But right now with the Eagles literally imploding and Devin White being released, not having played a single snap and paying him $4 million, there's a reason to hide Philly 500. There's a reason to hide. And lo and behold, like I said, I just got finished with the Dan Salio show and I take pleasure in seeing them implode. And Xander, ooh, I want you to listen to this. I, I started listening to the first two minutes of it, and I said, I've got to, I've got to save this for Cowboy fans. Because, you know, the season may implode on us, so we need to enjoy this today. The myth, the legend, he goes by the moniker of Big Z, Big the Z. co-host listen to this. of Birds 365, my friend. Xander. Big Sills, what's up, brother? Big Sills, before I get into it today, I got to tell everybody now, I'm not in a good mood today, Sills. <laughs> I'm not in a good mood today, Sills. What happened? Okay, you tell me, and, and everybody in the chat, why don't you tell me as well? Wow. What should I be more upset with <laughs> today, Big Sills? That our defense sucks out loud. That C.J. Gardner-Johnson is bottom of the league. That we have two first-round players on the defensive line that are nobodies. Nobodies in Jordan Davis and Nolan Smith. That Slay is old and, and doesn't know how to lead a football team if his life depended on it. And he's on here talking to, uh, to Cowboys uh, on the podcast. We talk up like Kobe Dean like he's some sort of a good player. He's a trash can linebacker. If he was on the Cowboys, Eagles fans, what would you say? When we were going up again, what would everybody say about Nicobe Dean? <gasps> if he was on the Browns, would you would you be worried about Nicobe Dean this weekend? Nope. Avante Maddox wants to play Fortnite, and we're so delusional right now in Eagles defense land that we've talked ourselves into Quinion Mitchell already being an all pro. Now I like Quinion. Don't get me wrong, Quinion's great. He looks great. So he's given up 14 receptions on 23 targets in four games. <laughs> I'm not I'm not upset with the player, but that shows you where Damn. our our barometer is for defensive success 
in this league. Or sales. So that's all one. There you go. That's one side. <laughs> or should I be mad? There's more. <laughs> that our franchise quarterback has regressed so far, we don't even know if we can put him in the top 20 in the league. Oh, That our shit. Super Bowl window is closing, 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 and closing. And our GM missed on every single move he made this offseason. Not Barkley. Like one Barkley. Arguably the one move you didn't need to hit on mm. would be on the offensive side. He failed on Bryce Huff. He failed on C.J. Gardner-Johnson and addressing uh, that position. He failed on the linebacker position. He failed on replacing Fletcher Cox. He failed on the draft picks. He failed on everything. So I'm not in a good mood today, Sills, because the more <laughs> I think about this and I realize where we are with our Super Bowl window and and where we were in 22, which is now seems like it was you know 30 <laughs> years ago, this thing's closing. <laughs> And in here. a critical year, in a critical year, Sills, <laughs> how we missed on every move. Every, every move that would have made this team a contender. Sills, you know, I brought up the point about Jalen Hurts real quick. If Jalen Hurts is playing like an elite quarterback right now, if Jalen Hurts is playing 22 level, is this a Super Bowl team? Yeah. No, it's not. You're not, you're not winning shit if, with wait, that defense, Sills. Wait, if he wow. doesn't turn the ball over, dude, and plays average – they're going to play way better. But, yeah, does, but, the way, but, 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 okay. Are they, like you said, are they going to get into that game against Mahomes and win that? No, you're not beating him with him. You're not. But you also don't have the dynamic right between the coach and the quarterback. Wow. That's the one thing you're missing right now. And you're covering it with these other elite players that you have in Devontae, AJ, and Barkley. They're, 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 they're covering that one critical mistake. Look at all the – we mentioned this yesterday. If you don't have that dynamic of a great head coach – I'm, I'm going to leave it right there. Let me say shout-out to Jacob Sports. They do they do a great job on there. I appreciate being on their channel and things and giving me the opportunity and stuff. Uh, Big Sills, who has been you know one of the radio legends out there, good and bad, uh, for a multitude of reasons and things um, – he brings it. He holds no punches. And, you know, a lot of times what you get with the media that is tied with the team is, and, and we know this with the Cowboys, it's always, always, always that, you know, they're going to shade it to the side of everything's fine here, and they're going to make sure that they tow the Cowboys line, much like the Eagles line. They give you the real raw dog, okay? Not w Without the P. Diggy, P. Diggy, P. Diddy, um, Baby oil. No baby oil. They're giving it to you raw. And I have to give them credit on that. And I have to say, thank you for making my birthday so good. Listening to you guys go off. It's the best birthday present I could ever get. Philly. Philly. Philly, don't you lose my number. <laughs> Philly 500, don't lose my number, buddy, because I'm going to be calling you. Scott just got another one of the I fire Howie. Fucking fire him. Motherfucker! Stupid motherfucker! What an idiot! What an idiot! Dallas has Amore Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver! Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson, he's ass! He's stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid.